guys, it's Bella and in today's video I'm yelling again. <laughs> today's video is going to be a Q&A which I love these videos because I love letting you guys get to know me better. So yeah, let's go into the questions. I asked you guys for some questions on my Instagram. So basically I'm just going to go ahead and answer them. By the way, do you like my nails? Because I've never ever 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 had colour on my nails before but I got blue and I really like it. I know it doesn't really suit what I'm wearing. I feel like that's a thing I don't like about colored nails is like they don't really match some stuff so I don't know I'm babbling let's get into the questions so the first question I have is do you have any tips for anyone wanting to start a YouTube well I actually do first thing that I want to say is make sure you're doing it for the right reason so if you want to do YouTube because you love making videos, you love being creative, you love st telling stories, you love doing makeup, any of those reasons, that's an awesome reason to start YouTube. If you want to do YouTube for the money, for the free stuff, and for the followers, you're not doing YouTube for the right reason, and I don't think that it's a good idea to start a YouTube if you're not doing it for the right reasons, if that makes sense. It's very obvious if someone is in YouTube for the wrong reasons and what I have personally noticed myself is that people who do YouTube for the love of it generally make it and do pretty well, but the people who actually care about all of the materialistic stuff that comes with YouTube, they generally don't do as well. It's it's just really obvious if you're doing YouTube because you love it or if you're doing it for all the materialistic stuff. So keep that in mind. Um, another thing, this is going to sound really cliche, is be genuine and be yourself. Your YouTube channel is you. Your YouTube channel is not some fake persona. It is you. Putting videos of yourself onto the internet and yeah I feel like if you are yourself then you are going to relate to people and connect to people and it's just it's really good watching someone who is being real with you you know not someone who you feel like is lying to you and being fake to you my next point <laughs> I feel like this should be like a whole video by itself but anyway my next point is if you are starting a YouTube channel definitely put out the videos that are generally the most popular in your category of YouTube. So for instance, if you want to start a beauty channel, then morning routines and everyday makeup um, tutorials are definitely the most popular, I would say. So I would start out with that and then obviously promote it on your socials, get your friends and family to watch it and thumbs it up because the quicker and the more views and thumbs up you get, the more likely it is you will be on people's recommended. So my fourth and probably my final tip is me want to make sure that your videos are good quality and you have good lighting. Um, when I started out, I bought $50 softbox lights off eBay, and that's that was my lighting. They worked really, really well. I was using them up until probably like a month ago, and then I got new lights. And they, these were only like $100 right now, and only like a day ago did I order a ring light. <laughs> so the $50 softboxes are amazing. They're so inexpensive. Just go on eBay and grab yourself some... Just type in softbox lights, and it should come up. Um, also, you want to make sure that your actual quality is really good. I know people don't really like watching low quality videos. I started off with a Canon 600D which was $700 but you can definitely record on like your phone. They have really 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 good cameras these days so your phone would be totally fine to start up. Actually I do have one more tip is don't comment on people's videos saying hey like follow me or Stuff like that. Most embarrassing period story. Okay, I can't believe that I'm about to put this on the internet, but statistically 97.8% of us are girls anyway, so it's, it's fine. But this is terribly, unbelievably, the most embarrassing thing that has ever happened to me in my life. I'm not even joking. So basically I went to this shopping center near my house called Carindale, which is like this big like mall type thing. And I went to go get my eyebrows. Yeah, I went to get my eyebrows done. I had an eyebrow appointment to get my eyebrows waxed. And I had these like mustard yellow pants on. So, you know, mustard yellow and red, very contrasting. And so this must have happened while I was driving, like while I was in the car or something and I just didn't notice it. And I was like early for my appointment, so I was walking around Carindale 
for 15 minutes on a really, really busy um, Saturday. It's so busy on Saturday. I was walking around for 15 minutes until some nice girl decided to come up to me and be like, hi, like, I don't mean to be rude, but there's blood on your pants. And I was like, ah, like I actually just wanted the ground to swallow me up. I was like, what the actual frick is happening so I like was like freaking out I ran into the bathroom straight away and I was just sitting in the bathroom and this bathroom had the worst service ever like oh it was just not adding I like started crying in the toilet and I was there by myself because I was just going for an eyebrow appointment so I started texting my mum and some of my friends and my mum was like oh I'll get dad to bring you in some pads um don't worry about it because my friend um, messaged me and she was like saying that she was gonna bring me some pads and some pants and I was like thank god and I was like don't make dad leave work like that's a fine like my dad was gonna leave work to come and give them to me <laughs> oh, and then my friend came and she came into the bathroom she's like Bella where are you I was like oh I'm in, I'm in this one which is like so awkward and she like um, put my pants and my pad and my undies under the bathroom <laughs> and I had to like get ready and I couldn't get my eyebrows done. I just went straight home after that. I was like, I'm traumatized. It was so bad. Oh, it makes me want to cringe just thinking about it. What would you say to someone who's been bullied? Honestly, fuck him. That's my honest opinion. In high school, um, not during high school so much, but like the year after I finished, I had so many people from school being mean to me. It was just like really intense. So... I just didn't care honestly I just blocked them and I was like they are so pathetic and they're like the popular girls at school or whatever so I was like you know those people just stay in this high school persona for the rest of their life and that's what they do for the rest of their life whereas you are going to be successful and work hard and put yourself to work and don't worry about what anyone has to say because honestly if someone's saying something about you they are just jealous there's no other reason for it they're miserable with their own lives and they need to bring someone else down to their level they either think you're weak and vulnerable enough to bring down to their level or they're just jealous of you and that's really what it boils down to so fuck them what made you obsessed with animals and helping them i love you i love you too i feel so happy when people say that um i honestly don't know where it came from i've always just loved animals i've always been so unbelievably obsessed with animals i think it's just because they're so like sweet and innocent and they don't really know what's going on and they can't speak <laughs> i don't know they're just I just don't even know what it is. I just love the animals so much. Like, they have no idea what's going on. They're so innocent and so sweet. And you know what I always think? Okay, this is going to be so weird, but I always, like, I'm one of those people, you're going to be like, you're either going to be like, oh my god, I'm like that too, or you're going to be like, shut the fuck up. But I'm one of those people that I always look at dogs and I'm like, oh my god, dogs are so weird. Like, what even are they? There's like these four-legged little things that are furry and they don't speak and we just like live with them and we love each other but we've never really spoken to each other. I don't know. Ever dye your hair to a bright colour? Okay, so I don't think that I will ever dye my hair. I think I'm just going to keep it this plain brown forever. But ever since I was little, I have always oh what's that on the oh i have a blister on my foot i haven't even worn enclosed shoes how do i have a blister i have always wanted to dye my hair lavender like a lavender silver color always i've always wanted that really really light silvery lavender hair but i know it would never suit me because i have such like dark features so I think I'm just gonna stay this color, but that's like my dream. I would love that. I think I want to get like a wig that color or something like that. I think that would be cool. Will you go vegan someday? I would love to go vegan someday. That is my ultimate goal. As being a vegetarian right now, I would love to go vegan. At the moment, it's not really that possible for me because I... I just don't have that big of a diet. So if I went vegan, I wouldn't be eating anything at all. Yeah, I just don't eat enough right now. I'm trying to build my, like, my appetite, not my appetite, like, my 
foods that I like to eat up so that I can eventually become vegan. Right now I've definitely been cutting down on any like dairy products that I have been eating. I rarely eat eggs anymore. I don't really use milk. When do I use milk? I don't even really use milk that much anymore. And I've tried to cut down on cheese where I don't really need it in a meal. So I've definitely cut down on all of my dairy products and stuff like that. And I definitely, definitely would love to go vegan one day. I'm just like kind of like working myself up to it. If that makes sense. What superpower would you want to have? P.S. I love you. Keep up the hard work. I would love to fly. I love you too. Um, I think I would want to read minds. I'm really curious about that kind of stuff. I think that would be awesome to be able to read someone's mind. Because like, I always wonder what people are thinking. Especially dogs. I really, 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 really want to know what dogs think about. Do they, do do they think in like words? Or do they think in barks? Or do they like not have anything going on? Do they have like elevator music in their head? Do they think in pictures? What do dogs dream about? Like these are the questions that I want answered in life. Why do you only use cruelty free makeup? Because I don't want an animal to be harmed for my own vanity and my own enjoyment. There is absolutely no reason to be testing on killing, harming, torturing animals for a beauty product, especially when it has been proven by the many cruelty-free um, companies that don't test on animals and their products are A plus and by far better than any of the ones that do test on animals. I don't understand why it's still a thing and I don't support it. I think it's just really, really stupid. I think it's cruel and it's unnecessary. There's plenty of, I have so much makeup in here. You guys have seen all of my makeup and all of that is cruelty free. Like there's no need to use makeup that is not cruelty free. There's absolutely no need for it. You don't need that MAC foundation. Personally, I don't even like MAC, so there you go. So that brings us to the end of today's Q&A. I really hope you guys enjoyed and if you did then please make sure to give this video a nice big thumbs up for me and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys next time. Bye!